Hey folks, wanted to try something a little different today. I bought one of these, uh, a Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box. Uh, I've never done one of these, I've never done like a pack opening. Uh, I filmed one, uh, but for whatever reason I just never never put it up. But uh, Crown Zenith, the final Sword and Shield set, uh, looks great. Looks like a whole lot of fun to open, so I wanted to go ahead and snag one of these. Uh, to crack some packs. See if I can't hit anything great. We got uh, 10 packs here. Set those there. Move the box to the side. I want to take a quick peek at the Lucario promo card. A great looking card. My wife loves Lucario, so this is probably going to be uh, her favorite thing that I have. But, uh, ooh, careful there. Still trying to figure out kind of how to do this, but, uh, 10 packs. 10 Crown Zenith packs ready to go. Uh, let's pick one that we're going to do last. I think we're going to grab, you know, this one. That one's standing out, so we're going to set that one to the side and do that one last. Uh, but yeah, uh, this looks like a super, super fun set to open, so I am going to just crack these and see what I hit. Um, yeah, the one I filmed was for the Pokemon Go set. Don't really know why I didn't, never uploaded that. So I know the card trick is four to the front, but I'm just going to do three to keep my grubby little paws off of the uh, energy card. Uh, or to keep to keep it off of the, uh, the final card in the pack. In case it's something really cool, I don't want my grubby little paws touching it. Uh, but I'm just going to go kind of slowly here for these first couple ones. Because uh, while I've I've seen a couple openings, uh, I'm still a little iffy on what's in the actual set. I like that drawing of Galarian Meow. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this set overall just looks really, really fun to open with the Galarian Gallery. Uh, not in the first one. Ooh, Reverse Holosation, though. That's, I mean, that's, that's nothing. That's not like an actual, like, hit. All right, starting with a Hatterene V and a Fighting Energy. Uh, I have the the Champion's Path Hatterene V box over here. I think that's a different... Hold up. Yeah, that is a different Hatterene V. Uh, I really like Hatterene's design in general. Um, <clears throat> I think it's a really cool Pokemon. Uh, it's a shame it's just probably not any good for the uh, actual card game itself. So we're going to leave there. I did not grab any sleeves. Hold up. Okay, sleeves grabbed. They're just off camera here. Uh, didn't touch anything, didn't move any of the packs around. Is it poor etiquette to open the actual packs off camera? So you know I'm not cheating, juicing it up. Um, these packs do seem kind of juiced, actually. The little, the few that I've seen, um, they seem a little hit or miss sometimes. But at the same time, like, I've seen some insane pulls from just single ETBs. So that was kind of a slow pack to start. Uh, but we are going to go slowly here. I guess we can kind of speed through the commons. I have not been counting, so I don't really know what's what. That's, all right, so the reverse hollow. So the actual slot, 10 growth. Garbage. I'm going to try to move these over to the side between packs. Okay. I did buy a second ETB that's going to kind of sit on my shelf for a bit um, whilst I uh, you know, wait for it to appreciate in value and all that kind of stuff. Okay, you know what? We're going to do the four. Let's see what kind of energy we get. I'm going to say steel energy. Yo, let's go. Okay, so Pokemon Catcher. I really don't know what, if anything in this set is good for the actual card game. I do not play. Uh, I just like buying a... I think that was a card that was in the base set. I think I actually might have one of those. I'm gonna have to snag one to see the first and last printing. So is this gonna be the... No, this one should be the... No, still nothing in the thing. And just a regular non-hollow. So, so far, very slow start. Hoping that pack that I pulled to the side is going to be the one. Uh, I haven't really talked about the cards that I'm super excited to pull from this. Uh, I think my number one card that I want is the Arceus. 
Uh, I just love that art. It looks so cool. Uh, even if it's, you know, there's, I think, one other card in the set that's more valuable than it. Alright, something's good is going to be here, so I'm going to keep the energy in the back so I don't get my grubby paws all over it. There's an Ultra Ball. If I ever want to start playing the game, I do know that that's uh, a card that sees a lot of play. Skrelp. Helioptile. Need the shiny one of these in Pokemon Go. Uh, additionally, I would love to see the uh, Galarian Gallery Zacian. Ooh, there's Lapras. That's a cool looking... I don't think it's worth much, but uh, I like the art. Lapras is a cool, cool Pokemon. And then a Nessa with the signature. Okay, I don't think those uh, I don't think those trainer cards with the signatures are really worth anything. Uh, but that's our first Galarian Gallery hit. All of those are worth uh, about a dollar, I would say, with a couple of them being, you know, quite pricey at this point. Um, but yeah, Lapras is not the one we're looking for, to be honest. Is it triggering that I do three to the front, Lunatone? Uh, I think that was in the Pokemon Go set. I remember seeing that one when I opened that. Was Energy Switch a basic card as well from the, the original set? I really got to find that Energy Retrieval to kind of show the first and, hey, Turtwig, the Galarian Gallery. Cool looking art. And then an Enamorous. So we've got two Galarian Galleries in a row, uh, but nothing that we really, really want to see. Hoping our luck turns around and we get something something real cool out of one of these. Throw the code card to the side and get it all lined up so we don't spoil anything. Bisharp, Rare Candy, another uh, card that I think might see some play, especially with the EXs coming out for the Scarlet and Violet, uh, that some of them are going to be... Now that's definitely a card that was in the base set. And, ooh, Zarude, interesting. Uh, maybe my least favorite mythical. Uh, ooh, Charizard. I mean, that's. I mean, that's just kind of a basic Charizard. That's nothing really special. It's not a full art or anything. But uh, you know what? It's cool. Love to see it. Uh, I think they also have uh, energy cards that are textured and super super fancy. So I kind of don't want to pull one of those. They're all worth about four to five bucks, I think. But um. Not something I'm super interested to pull. I'd rather get like an actual Pokemon that looks looks cool instead. Okay, Lucio, another rare candy. Um, so yeah, so the biggest hits I want to see, I want to see the Arceus, I want to see the Zacian. Oh, speaking of those, I, wait, this isn't textured. This is just a, this is just a regular Hollow. So is this the reverse Hollow slot? So this is the rare, right? Okay, it's the bead. Interesting. Well, that's something different and unique. Not the textured one, though. I'm curious about those. Now I kind of do want to pull one, just to like compare it to the uh, the regular old hollow foil one. I didn't realize that you could still get those, even, the regular boys. Okay. Salazzle. Make sure we're centered here. Rescue Carrier. Another Lunatone. Corfish. Pawneard. Seal. Rockruff. Aaron. Love Disc. Blossom. Trash Pack. Alright, two left. Really hoping that this ETB picks up, picks up and we get something cool. Um, we got two in the Galarian Gallery. Two V cards. Really hoping that that's not... Oh, this pack is hard to open. That means it's going to be good, right? The pack itself is, like, super difficult to open. Okay, I'm feeling it for this one. Make sure we're very lined up so we don't spoil if we have anything cool. Make sure we're actually in camera. Checking shoes, Pawniard, Seal, Rockruff, Aeron, Riolu. Another shiny... Oh, cool, the Pikachu! Now this was a card I wish I pulled two weeks ago. All right, that's kind of sick. I like this Pikachu. Um, people were expecting this to be maybe a hundred dollar card or something, and it was selling that for that like right like in the couple days before the set came out. 
Uh, but it's down to like a, what, like a $20 card, and it's only going to fall from there. But really, really cool art. I love it, and I love the, like, the shininess on the, in the background of it. Uh, and with a, a shiny steel energy, a hollow steel energy. So that's a, the best pack I've had so far. Look at that. You know, I am going to go ahead and sleeve up this Pikachu. Okay, there we have it in the top loader. Um, I'm not too good at looking for that, but it doesn't look like it's the most centered left to right. Like, it looks a little thicker border on this end, but uh, I'm not the best at looking for that kind of stuff. Uh, unsure what the top to bottom is, because I know they have to have the, uh, the uh, you know, the info at the bottom. But, uh, yeah, still, like, the best, easily the best pull I've gotten all, all day. Two of the sparkly energies, and let's see if this last pack was truly the one I needed to pull to the side. Okay. You know, I'm going to do the four to the front this time. And grass energy. No fire. Okay, Matang. Dust clubs. We're going to take it slow because this is the last pack. Can we pull something fiery? I mean, I pulled the fire energy already. Uh, I don't want to see a... Th Ooh, careful. Careful, Shanks. I don't want to see a third uh, holographic energy card. Ponyard. Well, it's, you know, honestly, I would take a, another shiny energy over this. And Orin Guru. So the last pack was not magical, but the next to last pack had this Pikachu. That would have been the last pack had I not uh, pulled that to the side. So overall, not feeling the best about this, but, uh, well, at least we got the Pikachu. And maybe these energy cards are something. Let's uh, pull that into frame. So overall... Uh, don't think that was the best ETB, but, uh, you know what? I got one of the cards I was really interested to pull, so, hey, at least that's something. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know this is different than my usual content, but it's something I might want to try doing every now and again. Um, you know, it just costs, like, 50 bucks every time I want to open one of these, but, uh, hey, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you want to see more things like this. And, uh, oh, before I forget... Okay, before I forget one last thing, uh, the energy retrieval that I mentioned that I was pretty sure was a card from the base set, well, it turns out, there it is. This is the original printing of this card. Um, looks like they've eroded the text as well. Uh, this says, put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, this says you actually trade one of the cards in your hand for two energy cards from your discard pile. So you actually have to pitch a card to get two energies back. Uh, so this is a strictly better card than this one, but, uh, you know, this is the base set printing, so... <laughs> What's with his art, though? That's like... That's like not Pokemon. Uh, but still cool that, uh, you know, I have one of these that's like super, super old, uh, and to see kind of the modernized version. Honestly, this art's way better. You know, this card was never really worth anything, because, you know, as a kid, hey, like I said, it's not a Pokemon. And as far as even the trainer cards, it's not like an actual trainer card like Bill or Professor Oak or something. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I sure did. I had a good time opening this. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will catch you next time. Take it easy.